Two Minute Theology, question number 17. If you have committed a mortal sin like adultery and have confessed it, should you still think on that sin and continue to ask God for forgiveness? This is the amazing thing about the sacrament of confession is that God's mercy is stronger than our misery. So any of the sins that we commit with our own free will, our own choice, but we're sorry for them, we bring them to the sacrament of confession and do our very best to not commit them again, we are completely forgiven, entirely no questions asked. This is the great gift that Jesus gave us. Um, when he told the apostles, he said, he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit, whoever sins you forgive are forgiven. Right? And this is amazing. It's not because of anything that I do as a priest or anything that another priest does. It's because of what Jesus does through us. We placed our trust in his words that we're totally forgiven. And so for me as a priest, I go to confession myself every two weeks because it is so powerful to hear from the priest Go in peace, your sins are forgiven. So for us spiritually and psychologically to hear without a shadow of a doubt that we are forgiven by God, and we move forward in our life to imitate Christ. Uh, just a story uh, about a saint who went through this same kind of um, questioning. Saint Margaret Mary had been receiving visions of Jesus and she asked a priest to be her spiritual director. And he was a little skeptical and he said, Okay, the next time that Jesus appears to you, I want you to ask him this question. I want you to ask him, what was the last mortal sin that I confessed? So she goes off. Jesus had appeared to her again, and she comes back to the priest and says, Okay, I did what you asked me to do. He said, What did Jesus tell you? He, she said, Jesus said, I no longer remember his sins. And the priests knew that the visions were authentic. So this is how we approach the sacrament of confession, knowing that, that our sins are but a drop in the ocean of his mercy, as we read in the diary of St. Faustina. Jesus wants us to be freed from our burden, to leave our sins in the path, and to move forward in his mercy and in his peace. God bless y'all.